www.smartlocal.com For me, it's not too long ago. Mm. Unlike these mm. two senior citizens right here. Thank you. Eh? Uh, <laughs> I think in general, the memories are both fun and not so fun. For me, my internship was TSL, and then after that, I worked in TSL. Oh. So everything is TSL. Back then, I was skinnier. Oh. How do you usually manage your current salary? I work in the CBD. The CBD oh. food is expensive. Mm. One chicken rice is like easy yeah. to mm. So it's easier for me to just bring my own food. So I give 20 or 30% to my parents, then uh, another 20% goes to rent. Sometimes I'll put a, a little bit into my robo investor. Mm. The remainder, I. <laughs> Do you remember how much you earned as an intern? Feels like 700, 800, I'm not sure. My first internship, 500. Second internship was about 800. So there was a time during my internship, I remember I wanted to buy my second hand A7 II. I had to save like two to three months. Now, if I want to buy a $900 thing, I buy, ah! Back when I was an intern, right, mm. the worries that you have is less than when you're an adult. So mm. like when you're an intern, right, for most people, mm. it's easy link. Food. Mm. And then sometimes clothes. So like clothes is like the splurge. As you grow older, although your income usually expense, but mm -hmm. the scope of things that you need to save up for also expense. Mm. Mm. Absolutely yeah. true. On this episode of Singaporeans Try, we will be leaving off the prorated amount of the person who had the lowest intern pay for 72 hours. Oh. In this case, it is Amanda with $500. Right now, you have the chance to play a game to win more money. Oh my god, this is precisely the problem eh. I must win now eh. You have one chance to flip to a page with more than five visible humans. Okay. You decide left or right first. So after I open, I get to choose left or right. Eh? Oh, why? Ne never mind. This is one, two, three, four, five. Chica, pick a number from one to five. Three, I'll go with half two, of eight, which one, is three. Three. Like epic one here. Two. One. Ta -da! Because my luck is rubbish, I'm not going to bet anything. the challenge and I had a medical checkup so I had to fast for at least eight hours. So because of that I wasn't able to eat breakfast. The transport to come here right I have a sponsor here. This is a coffee sponsorship. Thank you very much. <laughs> So today, I spent zero dollars as of breakfast. Wow, I'm off to a very good start. I'm drinking chicken essence now at home because I don't really like coffee. I don't want to have to buy like tea or like caffeine later. I'm on the way to office. So I am now down to just $20. Uh, I got popia for lunch. All things considered, if I don't anyhow spend, it's not that bad. But at the same time, I'm definitely feeling the pinch of being $30 down. Perhaps gambling was not a great idea. So usually when I eat food, right, I have the habit of watching Netflix. But Netflix is considered entertainment. So, I'm gonna go with YouTube today. Wow. Okay. Mm. wow. I guess I'm quite lucky that I have a mom who can cook really well. So, most of the time when I'm at home, right, I will always have home cooked food to eat. We just finished shoot and I'm with the producer so I cannot cheat. <laughs> so sad. On the bright side, you get to eat something cheap with me. I can eat my own. I feel your food. <laughs> I'm not very happy with this uh, eleven dollar meal because it looks kind of sad. My money now very precious.
Okay, so one good thing about working in KSL is that there's always free food. So I got three pieces of fried chicken here, which means I got one semi meal for free, which is great because I'm not allowed to have nice things. But I'm allowed to have fried chicken, the ebook, the one to finish and never finish. Mmm. So. Mmm. Terrible angle and terrible lighting. Uh, I just came from exercise and I decided to have a good walk and run outside. So I decided that I'm going to get myself a nice subway because I was craving for the honey oat bread. I spent 60 tea, just like that. It's a pity that I can't get their oatmeal cookie like how I always do. I shouldn't have gambled them. I feel that $10 can make such a huge difference eh? I wouldn't even think twice about buying this sandwich. I am at Ikea. 350 $3. This is actually tea, which is uh, free because he is a uh, Ikea member. But anyway, this is my face. face. And I don't even have to back borrow and steal from uh, Mr. Justin Elm here. Yeah, it depends on woman earning her own keep here. It depends on woman earning her own keep here. So tonight's dinner is at Han Yu for a birthday and uh, yeah. Here is the dairy. Oh! One long angry line later. Hey guys, you are not gonna believe this. So we ate at Han Yu, right? Then because it was for my dad's birthday, I think because it was my birthday a few days ago, so my brother opted to pay, right? And he covered the view, so woo! Right? And then now I'm following my parents' car back home. So I also spent zero on transport. So it all works out. I still got my $20. I, I'm still in the game, my friends. I'm still in the game. I'm leaving home for my $28 Pilates class. Usually, we'll take the bus to go for Pilates, but because this challenge, I got no money, I'm going to walk. So I'm coming out a lot earlier to reach there on time. Okay, after Pilates, and having some tasty with mama. So for breakfast today, or rather for brunch today, I'm eating oatmeal with blueberries, and then sandwich. This challenge has uh, really made me dig deep into my kitchen pantry to find what I can make for myself because home-cooked meals are not part of the budget. Which is good because I always have this bad habit right of going grocery shopping. Then I'll buy all sorts of things that I think looks delicious and then I leave it there and then I never eat. Although I have the most money out of all of them right, honestly it's super easy. I can even go out and eat every single day for 72 hours. But because I'm going to JB tomorrow, I'm taking this challenge there. I want to spend money in JB. So, yeah, I am saving money. So, uh, my mom actually prepared this yesterday night and I saw that there were some leftovers. Oh, it has, it has rice. Oh my god. So, Alastair and Jia Ling, they have opted to pay for my lunch. So, I guess once again, my good fortune continues. So, I'm here with a uh, producer. Producer, I, I am well taken care of by my community. Yeah. What the hell? Yay! Got wonton mee and got narcotics to keep me through the day. Past me was very smart. I scheduled a bubble tea media drop in the middle of this 72 hour challenge. They even gave me a float. Zero dollars from a media drop. I'm so smart. Sponsored by the Pang family, we got dinner, <laughs> thankfully. You know you're stuffed to death. John not eating is weird. All today. his meals is thanks to me. Today I've been so blessed eh. It's dinner time and as you can tell from my hair, I woke up from a slumber. <laughs> my mom actually went for a cooking class and she made this siu mai right here. She also made the carrot cake. This is made from scratch guys. So, um, I bought me home kueh as well as tutu kueh. <laughs> There's a trick! Uh, my mi home kueh. They separated the noodles and the soup.
Okay, so we're just done with today's podcast. Gwen. Gwen has very kindly allowed me to tompang in her car to go home. So my transport is free. My transport is free again! Woo! I'm super grateful because like I have wonderful people in my life and as a result, right, I have been getting way too lucky with this challenge. If ever you're in a bad situation, sometimes you really do need a strong support system to help you out of it. But that is not to say you have take you take them for granted. Uh. I definitely have a new found appreciation for the people around me. Unfortunately, I'm feeling very under the weather. I had plans to go out. I think because of my condition, I won't be able to. I'm going to JZ for the third day of the 72 hour challenge, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass my project. And some of the producers is under count the train ticket. Although I bought it many, many weeks ago. Although I didn't buy it, she bought it. <laughs> so that is $5. Gone. So I'm left with $15. Huh? Because of yesterday's bountiful benefactor day, I got quite a bit more to comfortably live today. But, okay, in the interest of uh, prudence, I will instead be watchful with how I spend. I'm a huge coffee drinker, so I need to start my morning with a cup of coffee. Maybe that will help to curb my cold. <laughs> We are going to eat at Yawa. So I'm going to buy Chai Fan from this store down here because it is cheaper than the usual store that I buy and every cent counts, right? Every cent counts because we're trying to be prudent here. Free entertainment. I'm now left with about $6. $6. What am I going to do with $6? But you know what? It's okay. Because I got my trump card. <laughs> okay lah, later you'll scold me and say that uh, you, you, you take advantage of your husband. Okay, uh, husband. How about I give you a shoulder massage in exchange for $30? I slept through the entire afternoon because um, I wasn't feeling well. I eat my breakfast and I just fell asleep for like six hours for well, dinner my first real meal of the day this I have the carrot cake that my mom made in her cooking class yesterday um lady's fingers and egg plant wow I have eaten my budget completely uh, and Justin has decided to Sponsor me for the rest of the <laughs> He sponsored my lashes. He sponsored my nails. And now he's sponsoring <laughs> whatever he sponsored me so far. It's already more than whatever. It's my entire budget for the 72 hours. Bruh. I'm quite grateful of this challenge because it kind of taught me how to be more prudent with my expenditure. That there are a lot of kind people who are willing to help me around just so that I won't be left out lah. Like just now dinner, right? We were supposed to eat McDonald's but clearly I couldn't afford it. But once again, you know, Lester got me a meal and I have to say it is like heartening lah. It makes me want to like finish off with as much money as I can to correct my habits so that I don't need to sort of abuse their kindness. I think that's my main takeaway from, from this challenge lah. As an intern, I was definitely a lot more careful with the limited resources that I have and it has taught me not to view my money as limitless just because now I'm back to my regular sum, right? Sobering experience. Not always good, but definitely sobering. Challenge is an understatement. Yeah. I kind of regretted mm. gambling because I thought I, the ten dollars was nothing. That ten dollars was everything. Was everything. Okay. Right. The thought of being able to win it gives mm. you that little yeah. bit of hope, right? Mm. Yeah. That maybe doesn't even exist. It's intoxicating, yeah. yeah. Because I did not gamble actually. Oh, yeah. I think the worst part, right, is that I think my fifty dollar very big. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, yeah because yeah, I'm yeah. like, wow, I got the most money out of all of them. Can you guys share some of your personal gambling experiences? 
based on my experience, it made me realize that like one of the potential long-term implications of problem gambling is that if I continue these trends, right, all the good relationships that I built up can be very quickly lost. I think if I continued that for another week, no more friends. No more friends. Mm -hmm. It becomes like your friend will start to feel it's the friendship transactional. Mm -hmm. And this would eventually extend further and seep into your even closer relations like your family. I was watching this documentary about video game gambling mm -hmm. and how it's a problem for children. Some of these microtransactions are very cleverly disguised mm -hmm. even though they are basically online jackpots and lucky lucky draws. Mm -hmm. I got tried before. It's damn addictive, right? No, it's Sometimes. true. <laughs> you pay one dollar, then after you... Then the angkong that you like come yeah, out, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Correct, correct. And people will put in real life money to do what they call pooling, which is straight up gambling. gambling. Correct. Which is me throwback to flipping a magazine and trying to find six faces. <laughs> straight up. You win some, you lose some, but more often than not, you lose some because that magazine is rigged as <laughs> Can you guys share a new budgeting tip you learned from this challenge? Get a husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, husband and, love and then love school. <laughs> I started to be more aware of what I spend mm. using money managing apps. Basically, just record your expenditure and then you can categorize like transport, food, etc. Right. It helps me track better. Let's say like you have future things like let's say loans. Then you need to think, okay, I need to spend less uh. this month because I know I'm going to spend more next month. But ideally, you want to set savings aside. I think it's something that a lot of people need a shift in mindset for, especially for like those, oh, payday coming, you know, mm. whatever is left, I don't have to scare anymore. Remember to make wise choices with your money and set aside for the essentials like food, commuting and bills before optional things like entertainment. Also try not to develop bad money habits such as gambling. And thank you for watching this episode of Singaporeans Try. If you like this episode, please like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell and check out our other videos over there. Bye! Bye! Bye. Make wise choices, yeah. Make wise choices and make rice choices. And bye husband. Ha <laughs> ha